Meiosis is another form of cell division. We are going to see that it is specific for reproduction. In order to understand meiosis, let's first look at your genome or all of your genes or DNA in a single cell. Homologous chromosomes are a pair of matched chromosomes, one from mom and one from dad. Each of your cells has 23 pairs of homologous chromosomes. We call the matching chromosomes in each pair sister chromatids. Here's chromosome number one. With one sister chromatid from mom and one sister chromatid from dad. 22 pairs are autosomal, meaning that they do not determine the biological sex of the person. The last pair are sex chromosomes, which can be X and Y chromosomes and determine your biological sex. Now, how does mom and dad pass on their DNA to their baby? DNA from a woman's egg, also called ova, combines with DNA from a male sperm to make a new baby. Each one of our standard cells has 23 pairs of chromosomes or 46 chromosomes in total. So if an egg has 46 chromosomes and a sperm has 46 chromosomes and they combine, how many chromosomes would the first cell of the new baby, the zygote, have? Well, 46 plus 46 equals 92. Then imagine if reproduction happened again and you had 92 plus 92 chromosomes equals 184 chromosomes and so on. Clearly this would be a problem. Meiosis is our solution. Meiosis is the division of cells that produces gametes, ova and sperm, with half the number of chromosomes, 23. So instead of having 46 chromosomes in the egg and 46 chromosomes in the sperm, they each only have 23 chromosomes. That way, when they combine to make the new zygote, it has 46 chromosomes, which is the right amount. Meiosis is therefore critical for reproduction. In fact, it is only used for reproduction.